Hey, everybody, all the way from North Carolina, working my biz, even when I'm not home. It's the luxury of this business. It's super awesome that you can work it from anywhere. Ezra was taking his nap. Yes, a three and a half hour nap. That was crazy. I found a nook. I did my trainings. I did my Instagram. I've been working. And it's just like, it's so amazing to have the freedom to do something like this to be able to just get up and go and, and still not have to worry about missing a week's pay or having to ask someone for permission to go away and possibly getting um, a missed paycheck from doing something like this. So I really want you guys to think long and hard about your future and where you can see the possibilities. And I want you to think of it without any limits or anything that you could possibly put on yourself because I feel like there's so many times in this business where you think that, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that possibly I can get there, but I'm just, yeah, I'm, I just don't know when or and so it's like you have hesitations within your own self that you're like, yes, I can do this. I'm just not sure how I'm going to do it or how I'm going to make it. And you start to almost second guess yourself at times. And I just want you guys to really give yourself permissions to, to do what you need to do to go all in and, and make this business a reality. Because as you guys know, the work that we do, it's not hard work. We literally are like this. Okay. So if you can hold a phone in your hand and give it some time, a couple hours a day, then you can really make some huge changes and impacts in your life that you have to use your time wisely. So this is what I really want to buckle down and talk about is just, you have to have that time management. You have to make sure that you are working your business like a business, just like you would have normal store hours. And there's certain things that you, you would have to get done within your time frame while you're doing your um, nine to five business, right? So if your employer gives you tasks, like, all right, you have to answer the phone calls, you have to contact our customers, make sure letting them know that we're coming or whatever it is, you know that that's what you have to get done in your day, right? So why is it any different when we have our own home-based business that we don't give it some kind of priority, that we don't give it some kind of importance, that we get the things that we know we have to get done in our time frame done in our time frame? So yes, we work on social media. Generally, when you go on social media, it's very much just a uh, a pleasure for us, right? It's like going and checking on people, like posting things that we like, seeing what our friends are doing. So it seems like it's more of a, just a fun thing. But guys, this is a real job. This is a real job that can make you real money for your household. So if you could just get that in your mind that this isn't just some hobby, this isn't just some thing that you're doing, this isn't just some, oh, I'm going to do it today, but tomorrow I'm kind of busy. So you would, that would never, ever fly at a nine to five. If you just didn't show up, if you just didn't get the task done, if you just didn't do what was required of you when you signed that contract to work that job, you filled out the form, right? You put out your information, you gave your resume, you said the qualities in yourself that made them pick you for that opportunity, right? So why is this any different than that? Because you're your own boss. You can have the luxury of having this freeness. You can have the luxury of having something completely amazing that no other job can give you, but you're letting it fall through your fingertips because you're not making it important. You're not making it a job. This is a job, guys. You have things that you have to do in your daily business to make sure that you're moving forward. So I'm going to name them off for you. And you can tell me on a daily basis if you're getting them done, okay? Five things. We post daily, right? That doesn't mean that you have to spam everyone every single day with post after post after post about your business or products or anything like that. You got to let people get to know who you are. You got to get like, let your, have things that interact with your followers. So that's the thing we do. We put, in, we put stuff in our stories. 
That's where we can really talk about the products every day, talk about the business every day, even if it's just a couple of slides because they're gone in 24 hours. It's where you put your polls. It's where you show silly things about your day because it doesn't interfere with how your feed looks, right? Um, and then we follow daily. If I told you that your, it, that your online business was like a brick and mortar business, that every single friend request that you sent was almost like a person coming into your personal store to look at your merchandise, how many friend requests would you possibly send out? Because you want as many people to come into your store as possible, right? Because you have the ability to show off what you have. And your Instagram is showing off you what you personally have to offer. So if I had a brick and mortar business and I knew that me paying for my bills was essential and people coming in to see what I have, you better believe I'd be doing like spinner signs. I'm like, yeah, come on into my store. Check out what I got. Because like you got to get people in. If you don't, what do you have? You have a building with your stuff in it and no one caring what you have. So it is critical that you're making sure that you're sending those friend requests out every day to invite them into your life, your store, because social media is free, but you have to work for it, right? That's the beauty of social media, that you can reach out to anyone, anywhere. You're not going to pay gas driving somewhere to get to there, but you do have to put in the effort to figure out your core things about yourself that gets people to interact with you and like what you have. So I would like you guys to... <clears throat> If I were to say who knows you best, I want you to get, tell, like, ask five people who know you best and say, what are the five things that make up me? There's probably going to be a few things that they have in common with who you are or your common interest. And those are the things that you can put and correlate in your post at any given time. If you stick to five core things that you talk about all the time, that is your brand. That is who you are. And that's the type of person that you're going to generate interest into yourself, your business, and actually want to watch you and follow you for your content because you're going to follow those people that have the same interests as you, the same core interests, the same, um, entertainment, maybe whatever it is that make you who you are, if you follow people that are similar in that, they're actually going to come to you and stick around. So that's your homework, okay? I want you to figure out your five things that make, who, make you who you are. And then I'd love for you to share it on, on, a, on the chat um, just so we can get to know you a little bit better because we're a team. We're here to support you and love you too. Um, so we've, I'd love for us to get to know you better on that level as well. And it just is going to get you comfortable with talking about those things, okay? <clears throat> So for instance, me, I'm a mom. So I one like to follow other young moms um, because when you go on vacation and your child has a complete blowout all the way down to its socks, guess how many messages I got saying, girl, I can relate. That just happened to me. And they always have bad timing because I'm following people that are similar to me. Okay. I always follow um, posts about recipes. I love to cook. So I follow people that are on other accounts that are cooking accounts. Because that's something that I like to do and I want to see them and I can genuinely interact with them. Okay? Um, I love to travel. Do you have any idea how many traveling sites I follow? Because when I post my stuff, they're like, yes, that's awesome. Or I can say, oh, that's a good idea. And I think we can genuinely interact with each other. <clears throat> Are you guys getting a thing? Are you getting it? Are you gonna, you're kind of understanding how it flows? Because then they're coming to me and they're sticking on my page. Okay. So I want you, that's like some homework. We got to really nail it in the head. Like you can't just follow just anybody because not just anybody you're going to connect with. I'm going to see someone, um, doing something inappropriate or talking about inappropriate on their, on my feed. I'm blocking them. So you don't, you want to make sure that you're interacting with people that want to see what you got to do, what you're doing. Um, <clears throat> another thing too. So you have to send out messages. That is critical. It's, and I don't care what job that you have, there is going to be something that you don't like to do. Can you imagine a receptionist saying, I don't do phone calls? <gasps> Excuse you? That's literally what a receptionist does. <laughs> like you have, there's things that you just don't like doing sometimes in a job, but you do it anyway because that is required of you. And if you don't, 
sayonara. I'm not going to fire you, obviously, because I'm not your boss, but how are you going to move forward? How are you going to progress? You're going to fire yourself because you're not going to be getting the results that you're looking for. You're going to get fed up. You're going to get sick and tired of constantly staying in the same place without making progress. So if there is something that kind of you don't like doing, so you're not doing it, probably that's the one thing that is holding you back from moving forward. It's like, we don't tell you just to do these things just for the kicks and giggles. Like, oh my gosh, guess what? We got Jordan messaging again. <laughs> oh, she's never going to move forward. This is so funny. We're wasting her time. We don't do that. We tell you things because we have done the work. We've seen the results and we want you to do that same thing. Okay. So I'm going to keep going with what, what the five things that we do. <laughs> I'm like, I was about to go on a tangent, but we'll stop there. Um, so what's the other thing that we do? We interact. Social media, it's in the name. It's social. If you aren't social with people, no one's going to be social with you back because no one's going to see your content. You remember back in the day, it was about three years ago when you can go on Instagram and you could remember where you stopped based on the person that was there and you could then come back an hour or so later and start back where you were and continue, continue scrolling. It's not like that anymore. Not everything is in chronological order anymore. You, if you want people to see your stuff, you have to interact with them. So if you're not willing to do that, guaranteed, the main people you're going to see are other distributors. I'm pretty sure. Because they're probably interacting with you and so then you're seeing their stuff pop up so you're automatically interacting with them. And those are the core ones that you're gonna be seeing, which it's great to interact with the team, but they're already here. So you're not going to get anything that way. So <clears throat> I want you to like scrolly, scrolly, scroll way, way down in your feed scrolly scrolly scroll way down in your stories and start interacting with people that you don't typically see because they're going to start then interacting with you and i i have been I, it's been so crazy when you are really really consistent like the the content <clears throat> it'll show you at the top of your page how many views you've had on your your instagram this week and me like just the consistency of like interacting and following new people mine jumped up a thousand views in one week the amount of people that were on my instagram <clears throat> so i'm not saying this again just for the heck of it i'm telling you because it works if you do these things it works so set a timer because you know you can get stuck in a scroll hole and we don't want you we don't want you doing that um, but if you set a 10 minute timer and make it a game, how many can I interact with? I love making this business a game because I always try to beat my last score, you know? So make it fun, make it, do whatever it is that you have to do to, to get, to get it done. Um, I love to scroll, but I scroll on the wrong things when it's just for fun. I'm like, I get stuck in Instagram ads. Anyone else? Because they know what you like. They coming after you. They're like, ooh, yes, honey. You're going to check out this laser hair removal system. Like, yes, I'm going to get that. So, like, they know the things that you like. So they keep showing you that. How do you think Instagram knows what you like? Because that's what you're looking at, right? So that's the same way that your algorithm works, too. So if you're liking and commenting on other people's stuff, they're going to try to show you more people that are similar to that as well because you liked it. So make sure that you're constantly interacting to get more blood, get more people coming through to see who you are. Um, it's really, really, really vital that you're doing that. <clears throat> and then what's the last thing that we do? We follow up. We follow up. How are you going to follow up if you do not write anyone's names down? So this is my tactic that I do that seems to work for me. Um, anyone else here a scroll brain? Like you get like, oh, I'll write that down in a second. Never happens. I will not open a text, an email. 
a message, nothing until I have something near me that I can write it down. I will not open it because that is my reminder that it's still there. As soon as the notification is gone, there's no way in heck I will remember it. I won't. I know that about myself. I've already made those mistakes. I've already missed how many follow-ups because I haven't written it down and I failed. So if you were a pen and paper kind of gal, get your pen and paper out. And when you open the message, I don't care what the person says. If you had reached out to them and they're like, oh, that sounds interesting, write the daggum name down. Why? Because if we have sales or we have anything or we're, you're just doing a good old follow-up, you have a list of people that makes it so much easier and you are going to feel so productive. If you're going back into your Instagram messenger and you're just trying to scroll and find conversations, you are going to waste valuable time and you're probably not even going to find the person that you're looking for. So again, if you need to make folders for people, I have to do it all. So I write everyone's name down. Sometimes I take screenshots of their accounts. I put them in folders for May loyal potential customers, May potential distributors, um, May host to post. I, I make all these folders in my Instagram. Plus I write every single thing down because I need every reminder I can, <laughs> I can use because they're, we're busy people, right? Right? We're so busy and it's hard to keep up with these things. So those are the five things that we do. Can we do them? Yes. Do you want to do them? There's probably some that you just don't like to do. And guess what? It's still a part of your job title. It's still a part of your daily life, your daily work. Now, what happens if you have a team? Then what? Because now you got like all this other stuff that you have to worry about, right? Take a chunk of your day, Provide that for your team. If you know that people are going to have questions or whatever, set a time like an hour or two during your day that they know that they can reach you and you are all in, okay? And then you have, if you're busy, you've got kids, you've got another job or whatever, that's where your life can happen. And then I don't know about you, but me later in the evening when my son goes to sleep, Tyler's laying in bed watching a movie, we're not really interacting. I don't feel guilty about work in my business. No, I sure do not. So I will get on my phone and I will sit there and work and that's my time for my business. And guess what? Most likely if you message me after 1030, you're not gonna get a response back to me until the next day. Not because I didn't see it, but because how am I supposed to make my, like show you guys leading by example, I'm not willing to put in the time of my business. So is your business any kind of priority to you? Can you fit these five things in your business? Because this is a part of your business um, profile. Like this is a part of your, your job description. If you can't do these things, your personal business cannot flourish. I'm being very, very honest. Um, typically when I'm talking to someone, they're like, I was doing so good now all of a sudden I don't know what's happening. I'm like, are you doing the five core things? Are you doing the five core things enough? If I say, are you messaging? You're like, yeah, I totally sent five messages. I'm like, girl, <laughs> like what business is going to be sustained with five people? Do what you got to do. <laughs> Come on. Like I said this to an old, like this is like cry, cry. I shouldn't have said it. But um, she was like, I'm not getting any customers. I'm just not, I don't know. I'm just like, I'm like, if I told you right now that I had your mother hostage and you had to get a customer today or something bad was going to happen to your mama, could you get a customer? She's like, yeah. And I was like, okay, I'm not hurting your mom. But when it comes, when push comes to shove and you have to make something happen, you will make it happen. There's no excuse. I don't care what happens. If anyone said that they were going to touch my child and doing them like, what do I got to do? Give me my baby back. I have to get a hundred customers in two hours. Okay. <laughs> like you'd beat down people's doors. Like help me, you know? So it's like, you are, do you want it? Do you want it? Do you want it? If you want it, you've got to do the five core things. Okay. And you can't just do piddly little here, little, little there, because you're just going to spin your wheels. And this is a business that it will progress 
and be a snowball and get bigger and get bigger. And all of a sudden you got this daggone avalanche and it can't be stopped. And you're like, I made that. <laughs> and it's awesome. It feels awesome to know that you made that avalanche with a little pebble and you just kept, kept going, keep going. Oh my goodness, look at it, look at it go. You know, it's amazing. So take these five core things and see if you can turn that pebble into an avalanche because y'all got it in you. You just got to know you do. You got to believe that you do. You got to scream it from the rooftop having confidence in yourself. Because if you don't have confidence in yourself and you're not sure if you can do it, why the heck should anyone else? It all starts here and here before everything else can get moving along with what you know that you have to offer. So are you doing personal development? If not, I want every one of you to go download this tonight. I don't care what you got to do. Download this and start listening to it. It is fantastic. Girl, stop apologizing. If you want help in your business to figure out what's holding you back, it's so stinking good. Like this is one of my favorite reads I've had in a long time. It, it kind of breaks down everything. This she writes only for business women. This is all for us. It's only for people who are rocking their own businesses. Are you rocking your business? Do you want to? Do you want to figure out what's missing? Read the daggone book. <laughs> Download it, airmail it, fidget mail it, print it. I don't care, but get to reading or listening or doing something because it's awesome. It's really, really helped me. And I didn't like, we, you probably like, Sarah's triple diamond. She doesn't have bad days. Girl, yes, I do have bad days. <laughs> And I got to get myself in check. How am I going to help you if I don't help myself? So yes, I do the self-development. I listen to something or I read something or I watch something every single day so that then I have what it takes to help you. I can't help you if I don't help myself. So please take the time, do some self-development. I'm not telling you to spend hours. It can be 10 minutes, 10 minutes, pour on yourself. If you have like a, a dance that you got to do, a song that gets you hyped up before you start your day, do that. Yes, I don't know about you, but dancing gets me lit, right? Yes, Crystal, that's what I do. I love to listen while I work. Like, I listen to it while I'm driving. I listen to it while, yes, I downloaded it and I bought the book. I'm that person. Stop judging me. I saw the judging eyes. <laughs> but um, if you have to make sure that you're putting something back into yourself or you're going to one, you're just, it's, you're not going to have it here. This business is literally 80% mindset. If you're like in a good mood and you're feeling it and you're, you're going to do the things necessary because you're in a hyped up, right? But if you're not, you're not going to do the work and then it's going to spiral down. You're like, well, I didn't do it yesterday. What's going to hurt today? And then all of a sudden, like, where's she, where's she go? I haven't seen her in a hot minute. And then I'm texting you and you're like, oh, I just had a bad day and it turned into a bad week and I was spent a month and I'm like get back to work <laughs> what are you doing <laughs> does this all make sense does this all make sense this isn't I know this isn't all new stuff but I feel like sometimes we got to remember you got to get back to the basics stop making things difficult for yourself why are you doing that why are you trying to go out and be like, do something great? No, do the five core things, do it. You think athletes that are trying to run, start doing some kind of weird, crazy workout. No, they run, they run because they know they have to run to build up endurance or they can't run, right? You're not going to start parachuting because like, oh, I just got to feel, feel the air. It's going gonna, it's gonna to make me more aerodynamic. No, <laughs> they're going to run. Okay, so I'm telling you guys to run. I'm telling you guys to do the five core things. Keep it to the basics. Make sure that you're running your business like a daggone business because this is what it is. And you're a boss. So run your business like a boss and be so darn proud of yourself. And if you fail, that's okay. Get back up because it's going to make you 1,000 times more stronger. I guarantee it because you're going to persevere from what you just thought you couldn't get up from. And then you're going to be an example to your team. You're going to be an example to other people and you're going to be a light to other people. And you're just going to feel so amazing about yourself. So your homework, 
figure out who the heck you are, what makes you you, your five, you five characteristics about yourself that make up who you are. S write them down. Follow those kinds of people and people are going to stick around because they're going to care about what you do because that's who they are too. It's, it's going to make it easy and then they're going to automatically interact with you and want to be a part of whatever that you're doing. So does all this make sense? Are you guys going to go do the five core things? <laughs> yes, 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 yes. I'm seeing some heads nodding. I'm like, okay, yeah, yeah okay, cool. <laughs> okay. Thank you for being on. Thank you for dealing with this. All this crazy hot mess I got going on right now. I was like, I ain't got nothing to say. Let's just start this thing and see what happens. <laughs> and I was like, what do we got to do? Keep it simple. <laughs> but thank you guys for hopping on and talking. Oh, did we have some stuff in the chat? What are we saying? <laughs> oh, preach. <laughs> I like your North Carolina eggs. Thank you, darling. <laughs> <laughs> okay so i'm gonna i'm gonna listen to more of my book and i'm gonna do my five core things because i haven't posted today i'm gonna drink some wine and get to work so i don't care if i'm on vacation i'm still working that's the beauty of this biz so get there write your goals where you want to be where you want to be where you want to be and how you're gonna do it and I'm proud of you guys. I'm super, super proud of you guys, each and every single one of you. And thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for taking 30 minutes out of your Monday, your week to be a part of this because this is huge. Like you have to be a part of the community or you're gonna check out. It's just how it is. Can we get the recording? Absolutely. I will get it uploaded to YouTube right now. All right, guys, happy Monday. Let's get to work. We're only halfway through this month. Yes, we're clapping, we're clapping. Why aren't you guys clapping with me? High five!